Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve, and um, just wanted to show you my new bass guitar here. This is my uh, new uh, Ken Smith. It's called the White Tiger, and uh, the reason it's called the White Tiger is because it uses tiger maple, and they don't put any uh, they don't put any paint on it or anything like that, that to color it. So it kind of has a cool white look to it. But um, you can see it's got really really nice uh, flame maple very very high grade flame maple on it there this is a six string uh, 24 frets you can see here it's the double octave there on the neck uh, Macassar ebony fingerboard really nice really nice gloss to the ebony fingerboard and uh, this is a uh, five piece neck so one two three four five piece neck and I believe these are walnut uh, runners here, and then maple uh, for the neck as well. And look at the neck heel, that's really cool. This is one of his neck through body versions, and um, as you guys know, those are uh, quite a bit more expensive. Uh, so I really couldn't afford one of these, but I found one used, this one used in Houston. And it still was not cheap by any stretch of anyone's imagination, unless you're Bill Gates or somebody like that, but uh, anyway, I've really been uh, wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while, and finally found one used and uh, in really, really great, great condition. There's the, there's a shot of the bridge there. There we go. There's a shot of the bridge, so the Ken Smith Bridge, and um, just a really, really, really nice looking base. So uh, the electronics are. Basically, you've got volume, pickup blend, treble, mid-range, and bass. And then you've got these two switches here. And these are parallel and series switches. And uh, they just give the bass a different, uh, kind of a different voice, if you will. Um, a lot of guitars come with parallel series switches. And uh, there's some basses starting to do that, too. This is one of them. And uh, I prefer it in the up position, and don't quote me on it, uh, but I think that is the parallel position, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, but um, it's the one that gives a darker sound. Um, I mean, these basses are plenty bright. As most people know, Ken Smith basses are well known for their, uh, their attack, and uh, really, uh, they really have a great uh, kind of... Uh, uh, spanky sound to them. They're very popular in uh, like jazz fusion and gospel music. Uh, they have a great slap sound, and I don't do that much slapping, but um, but I do a lot of uh, finger style stuff, and I think these have a nice kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, lower mid range heavy tone that I prefer. Nice S on the headstock. This is um, this little guy here. It, it, most of you guys have seen those uh, like string mutes. What do they call them? Uh, uh, groove gear or whatever it is. I can't remember. It's a fret wrap, I think it's called. And uh, my daughter actually makes these ones. These are she embroiders these, or no, excuse me, she crochets these. Don't don't let me get that term wrong. She crochets these, and then uh, on the back she we tie them down with a big uh, big button. Isn't that cool? Anyway, so she makes those. And uh, anyway, you can see the back of the headstock there. And you can see it's got the headstock's got a nice tilt angle on it there. That gives you a good, um, a good break angle over the nut. And check out the nut. It's really nice on this too. It is a brass nut. And it, see how it's scalloped between the strings, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, but so that's the Ken Smith White Tiger. And... Um, the tone that I kind of have found on it, I haven't had it that long, is the um, pickups kind of blended uh, together, or maybe even just favoring the neck pickup just a touch, and uh, then volume up. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Um, it has an active passive on the volume. You pull it up, it's passive. Down is active. And actually what's crazy is that if the EQ is flat, there's no difference in the volume, which is cool. So I'll just play a low E. That's active. And then passive. 
That's passive. To me, it sounds really similar, which is nice because let's say your battery, your battery goes out on a gig or something, and you can just pull it up and you can finish the gig, which is uh, which is really nice. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play um, play a scale with a couple of settings here. Um, so I'll put these switches in the down position, and we'll go here. So I'll just play up and down the strings. Position just gives you a little bit darker, a little bit darker sound. Okay, and um, yeah, so that's that's that. And then with the neck pickup, of course, there's your little bit darker sound even more. And then the bridge pickup. I kind of like them blended, or maybe favoring this front pickup a little bit. So there's a little bit. Um, that's with both pickups on. If you favor, uh, if you favor this uh, front pickup a little bit, you get just a slightly darker sound. Okay, then if you go with that bridge pickup, you get that real... The thing I've noticed on this one, the, the strings are really easy to, to bend. So, so a really nice bendability to the strings. Is that a word, bendability? I don't know. Okay, so um, that was both pickups again. And uh, yeah, so if I boost the lows just a touch. And I apologize, I'm, I'm trying to keep the register the same and everything so you can hear the difference. If you get bored with that lick, um, you know, I'll, I'll play a different lick next time or something. Anyway, but um, just so you can kind of hear the difference in the same register. So there's the low end boosted a little bit. Um, here's the mid range boosted a little bit. Okay, and then uh, put that back, and then the treble boosted a little bit. Okay, so you can kind of hear the differences in those tones. And then, like, if you want a more scooped, uh, scooped sound, I'll boost the lows and the highs and cut the mids a little bit. And um, I'm going to favor the neck pickup just a little bit. That would be a good kind of slap tone. You know, something like that. Um, for a finger, like more of a finger style Jocko tone, I'd probably boost the mids, uh, cut the highs, and then favor the bridge pickup a little bit. You know, something like that. So, how's that lick go? Yeah. a little bit, um, keep everything pretty flat there. Uh, I might boost the mids just a touch, but...
So that's the um, uh, kind of what I like for recording. And again, I've I haven't even had this a week. I'm just trying to find the uh, kind of find the tones on it, but but sounds really good. <laughs> So uh, really, it really would be nice for kind of some of that kind of that lower uh, kind of lower pitch slap stuff, and um, just for you know just for regular uh, finger style too. I've actually been liking to favor this pickup a little bit, boost the lows just a touch, mids flat, and then cut the cut the highs just a little bit, and it's just been really uh, really sounds nice with some uh, just some eighth notes, you know some. Just a nice warm tone. I think that really works well with finger style. And then, um, you know, it, I think I think really at any setting it has a nice musical sound to it. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a little preview. I knew I, I had a couple guys request um, request me to post a little video of it, but um, you know, nothing nothing uh, high resolution or high fi here. I'm just playing through my little mark bass amp through the microphone on the camera so there's nothing fancy here but um, just wanted to give you guys the sound of it overall.